Welcome back. Taking a full look at weather now with Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianca. Dan, you had a little break from all the uh, tracking of storms, mm -hmm. and now you're in for another one. We've got a storm coming this weekend. Um, I think the impacts will be bigger elsewhere in the state than they will be here locally, but that's not to say that we won't have some impacts. It's going to be rainy and windy and cold as we head into the weekend, really starting from Thursday and probably lasting into Sunday morning. So be ready for that and all the things that come along with it, right? Wet roadways, maybe some power outages here and there. Um, this isn't to me looking like a big storm that's going to cause any major flooding or any major wind damage. So at least there's that, but it's certainly going to be an inconvenience and it's pretty complex. So the inconvenience may be spread out over several days and in the short term, it may be difficult to tell you exactly when you may be inconvenienced. So plan on that stretch anyway at this point and we'll keep an eye on things for you. Right now, everything's okay. We're looking at mostly clear skies across most of the state, in fact. Uh, there's some low clouds in the San Joaquin Valley, a few high clouds in the Northern California. Those high clouds associated with some frontal boundary that's slowly working its way down the coast. It's kind of stalled out right now as the storm system to the north in the Gulf of Alaska reorganizes itself. And this is the one that's gonna be responsible for our inclement weather Oh, there's a moth flying through here. That's fun. Uh, as we head through the weekend. So let's talk about that future track, notably showing this very cold air aloft coming in out of Canada, just getting wrapped into this system. What's interesting is as it moves south, you'll see a lot of blue, meaning that it's going to be snowing over the relatively warmer waters of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, so this system is packed with cold air. It's going to bring it to the state as well. We may not get the worst of it, but it will definitely cool down this weekend. So the cold front will start to work its way down the coast and we'll see the first rain. It looks like Thursday, maybe early in the day, a few light showers, nothing to get too worked up about. And then a cold front's going to come through late in the day, Thursday, probably around dinner time or so, and it'll bring moderate for us for a short period of time. But that really just kind of opens the gate for this big cold air mass, which has an area of low pressure and a lot of smaller disturbances rotating around it. We'll see those disturbances kind of rotate through as we head into Friday. We see one coming in early in the day Friday, another one coming in late in the day Friday, and then perhaps another one coming in Saturday uh, early in the day and all the way into Saturday evening perhaps some of those showers lingering into Sunday morning. So a nice big stretch. And then on top of that, another system which looks even stronger, but shorter in, in time uh, frame, will be here next Tuesday or so. So there's uh, a lot to look out for. Now I mentioned the other portions of the state are gonna get hit a lot harder than us. So what does that mean? Well, that means big time snow in the Sierra Nevada. There's a blizzard warning in effect already in advance of this system for Friday and Saturday in the Sierra Nevada. If you have plans to go to the ski hill this weekend, you may not make it up there. Roads, we're probably going to see closures. There's no doubt about it. It just looks really nasty up there. There's a lot of snow. It's going to be cold. It's going to be very windy. So you may, not, you may need to rethink those plans this weekend. In fact, I'm recommending not traveling through the Sierra Nevada Friday or Saturday. Uh, Highway 50, I-80, places like that. You might get away with going through Tehachapi, but uh, yeah, anywhere up north is not looking good with this system. It's going to be cold. It's going to be snowy. So. So let's focus things a little bit here locally here, and we'll take you through the next 48 hours or so. Future track overnight, not showing much. We'll see mostly clear skies overnight tonight into tomorrow. Model showing some low clouds tomorrow evening. This is 6 p.m. We'll have a few. I don't think it'll be as extensive as you're seeing on the map here, but tomorrow, really a nice day, lots of sunshine, mostly sunny skies, mild temperatures, if not even a little on the warm side. Thursday, okay, clouds to start the day. A few light showers moving through at times, mostly in the coastal mountains early in the day. This is lunchtime. It really hasn't rained anywhere or hasn't rained that many places by this point in time. Uh, late in the days when the frontal boundary will start to come through, we'll have some wind with it, gusty southerly winds, but nothing too extreme. And then we'll get a period of moderate rain as the frontal boundary moves through Thursday evening. But again, that's just opening the door for several days of rain and stormy weather after that. Quick look at your temperature forecast for tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be cold and clear overnight, so we'll be down to the 30s in the Santa Cruz Mountain Valleys. Highs back in the mid to upper 60s tomorrow, at least in the valleys. We'll stay close to 60 up in the higher elevations. Mid 60s down on the coast, on the east shore of the bay. Low to mid 60s for your highs. Salinas mid 60s. Hollister a little bit warmer in Gilroy, 67 tomorrow. The peninsula, not too bad. Seasonable temperatures, low 60s for the most part. You'll have a lot of sunshine with some low clouds possible late. And then down south, uh, mornings, morning lows in the upper 30s to low 40s. Highs back in the upper 60s across southern Monterey County. So not too bad out there. Seven day forecast, again, pretty busy here. Wind, rain, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 
showers lingering into Sunday. We'll get a break on Monday, perhaps another system on Tuesday, which is kind of looking stronger in some of the latest model runs. Look how chilly it gets though. Friday or Saturday, I should say highs only in the mid fifties. Inland area is also nice and warm tomorrow. Um, and then colder, stormier, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Make sure to stay tuned to the forecast here in the next coming days. Also for inland folks, uh, agricultural areas, potentially frosty Monday morning. That, that system's got cold air. We're gonna see even some snow on our mountains here. We're gonna watch the pass level, maybe in the Santa Cruz Mountains. I'm seeing like 3,000 feet right now, but it could get a little bit lower, Veronica. Such big changes, all right, thank you, Dan.